Houston looking to avoid a three-game sweep at the hands of the Red Sox. That's Mark Mulder. He had pitched three straight complete games and won all three, but he walks the bases loaded early. Then he rings up Jason Veritek. Mulder trying to get out of a big jam here. That's two outs. Next up, it's Kevin Millar. Millar! Yeah, Veritek not happy. Millar goes down. Mulder walked a career-high seven and five and two-thirds, but got a whole lot of run support. Top two, Eric Burns off Bronson Arroyo and off the wall. Marco Scudero scores. Burns an RBI double, and it's 4 nothing Oakland. There would be a whole lot more offense from the A's organization coming out of a hockey highlight. Next batter, Eric Chavez. Oh, two-run shot is 13th. That leads the American League. Arroyo tagged for nine runs on seven hits and three and a third. Top four former Red Sox great Scott Hatterberg. High and deep, Gabe Kapler is there, and Kapler's into the crowd, and so's the baseball. Three-run shot, number five for Hatterberg, but another look here. Where'd he go? Well, he can't save the home run, but he does save the beers right there. Hey, man, watch it. There's a beverage here. Priorities. Yep. Oakland wins 15 to 2 with 17 hits. They avoid the three game sweep at Fenway. Steve, we go to the Yankees looking for the sweep in Camden Yards. You know, Joe Torre's club has been downright offensive lately, and that's a good thing. In their last three games, they're hitting 364, averaging over 10 runs a game, six extra base hits a game. First 42 games, they weren't so good. The Yanks have scored 31 in their last three coming into this one. Now, Sidney Ponzone didn't give up any runs in the first four innings. Sadly for him, he pitched in the fifth. Two on, two out for Derek Jeter, and that's off the wall, a two-run double. Derek Jeter is hitting over 200. He was three for four on the night. Yes, that's a reason to celebrate. There's still two out. Next batter, Alex Rodriguez. Goodbye. A two-run homer to right field is 12th of the year. The Yankees now up 5-3. Three batters later, two on. Still two out, because otherwise the Orioles would be hitting. Hideki Matsui. Double to center field, two-run score. Matsui, three for four with three RBI. The Yankees doing a lot of damage with two outs. They're up 7-3. Lee Mazzilli, not so happy. Sidney Ponson, eight earned runs. It would have been worse if Lee hadn't pulled him when he pulled him. Yankees get the sweep, and they win it 18-5. Tigers putting on a tremendous offensive show in Kansas City. Top two, Carlos Pena singles to right field. And, you know, he's a former Northeastern Husky and a Cape Cod League MVP. I did not know. Yeah. Top three, Pena again singles to right. They're going to wave Rondell White. And it's 4-0 Detroit. Carlos Pena again in the fifth, and this one is bidding for a home run. It's got a shot, and no, it just misses a home run. Doubles to right. Tigers had 27 hits in the game, including eight doubles. It's Pena's third hit of the day. Top six, Justin Heisman hitting the head off of Pena. Who else? The seams from the ball are actually imprinted into his forehead. Ouch. Heisman said afterward, I'm fine. I don't hurt at all. He's tough. Got part of it with his glove. Top eight, 12-0 Tigers. Pena, and this time it is over the wall. A solo shot is seventh, 13-0 Detroit. And in the ninth, it's Pena one more time. A three-run shot is eight. Carlos Pena, six for six with five RBI, 17-7 Tigers. Pena tied the American League record for hits in a nine-inning game and tied the Tiger record he now shares with Ty Cobb and two others. So an NFL spin to some of Thursday's Major League Baseball game. The Lions failed to score 17 points in 10 of their 16 games last season, but the Tigers had 17 Thursday. The New York football Giants averaging only 15 points per game this year, but the Yankees had 18 runs Thursday. And the Raiders failed to score 15 points in eight of their 16 games, but the A's, who share the stadium with the Raiders, had 15 runs at Fenway Park. His old team. Historically, this has not been good for Kevin. 0-4 with an ERA well over 7 and four career starts against Atlanta. Second inning, Adam LaRoche, that's a free pass. Next batter is J.D. Drew, who draws a walk. Shortest outing of the season for Millwood. Next batter is Chipper Jones, and, well, why don't you just hit him, Kevin? Mike Lieberthal, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Base is loaded now for Johnny Estrada, for whom Millwood was traded, and he gets a little revenge there, gets out of the inning. But then in the fourth, with a man on, Chipper Jones, that's a walk. Next batter, Estrada. Revenge is mine, says Johnny. Career high six walks for Kevin Millwood, and then Andrew Jones, I make you pay. He throws strikes, they hit him a long way. Grand slam, 11th for Andrew of the season. Braves win it 6-1. to one.
D backs and Giants. And you know, fact bar, D backs pitchers have the most walks allowed in the NL 198. Bob Brenly a spot cross about all of this. Maybe we ought to throw the expletive ball underhanded. I think that's a larger ball. Yeah. Make them put the ball in play. Bottom third, Giants lead 2 1. Edgardo Alfonso off Steve Sparks. Hey, guess what? A walk. Bob Brindley, woof. D backs walk 10 in the game. 10. Bottom four tied at two. AJ Pruszynski off Sparks drives into the right field corner. Perhaps that's why all the walks. Damon Miner scores. More from him later. Pruszynski with the RBI double. Giants up 3 2. Top six. Giants lead 4 3 2 out. Chad Tracy off Scott Air. Tracy grounds into the fielder's choice. Giants out of trouble. Top seven. Same score. Bases loaded and one out. Shea Hillenbrand facing Jim Brower, and he is induced into the 6 4 3 double play. Out of trouble again. Top nine now. Giants leading 4-3 two outs. Friendly looking on. Danny Batista. You know, Matt Hurgis has been so good filling in for Rob Men. Yeah, great. Until that pitch, Steve. Please. Deep out and gone. Batista's seventh. We're tied at four. So bottom of the tenth now. One out. They intentionally walk Barry Bonds. Runners on first and second. And Damon Miner with a major base hit into right. Barry Bonds will scamper home. Miner's first RBI of the season. Giants win their sixth straight here to avoid the profanity Josh Beckett said that's blank I think that's blank I don't give a blank if he's a Hall of Famer or not Florida's World Series MVP talking about Cincinnati's Ken Griffey Jr. who glared toward the Marlins dugout during his home run trot in the Reds 5-2 win on Tuesday now Beckett had intentionally walked Sean Casey to get to Griffey who responded by hitting one 433 feet and later insisted he was only looking at friends in the stands and not glaring into the Marlins dugout. The Marlins don't believe him. Thursday starter Brad Penny saying he was also upset with Griffey's glare into Florida's dugout, whether Griffey admits doing it or not, which he still hasn't. Here it is on Tuesday. A home run after the intentional walk and then a definite look. Penny said you won't let a guy like that beat you because you know he's going to show you up. Back to Thursday, Griffey 0 for 4. In fact, he was 0 for 7 in the last two games of the series after his home run on Tuesday. Final four, Javier Valencia to Hesop Choi, and a nice play by Penny to finish off the 3-6-1. Penny allowed two runs on six hits and eight. Tied at two in the fifth, this is Hesop Choi. Doubles to right, Miguel Cabrera is going to come in, makes it 3-2 Marlins. Choi loves Cincinnati. Five home runs, two doubles, and 10 RBI in his last nine games against the Reds. Bottom nine, Armando Benitez trying to close this thing down, gets Adam Dunn. His 18th save, and the Marlins win 5-2. Benitez, by the way, Mets fans, a team record, 26 and two-third innings without allowing an earned run. Still mesh on the mound. He's 1-7 and seven in his last 11 starts. That's okay, it's his Fridays. Bottom first, Indians up 1-0. Travis Hafner deep to left. Jody Garrett and Victor Martinez will score on the double by Hafner. He was 1-3. for three. The Tribe goes up 4-0. Bottom fourth, man on third. Tribe up 6-3. Jody Garrett singles to right field. Lawton scores. Mesh only went three and a third. Ten hits, eight earned runs. The Tribe ends their seven-game losing streak as they win this one 9-5. Skydome, eh? That's Roy Halladay. Four losses already this season. Didn't have his fourth loss last year until August 12th when he won the AL Cy Young. Top one, Jose Guillen. Chris Gomez, 6-4-3, and that ends the inning. Top two, Halladay walks Jeff Devanen. More walks here. Three batters later, Jose Molina. Oh, control issues. Next up, it's uh, Adam Kennedy. And the inning ends with two runners on. Halliday escapes. He takes a three-hit shutout in the ninth. Jared Washburn trying to become the first eight-game winner of the major leagues. Bottom seven, Reed Johnson. As Washburn looks in, singles to center. It's one nothing Blue Jays. Washburn gave up three runs on eight hits and seven. Jays led 3-1 in the ninth. It's Devannon. Halliday trying to close this thing out. Line drive to center. Guillen scores, and that'd be it for Halliday. He had retired 19th straight at one point. He allowed only two unearned runs on four hits and eight and two-thirds. Jason Frazier trying to close it out now. Pitching to Casey Kaufman as Halliday exits. They're one out away, and there it is. His second save. Blue Jays win 3-2. Toronto sweeps three from Anaheim. Washburn's first loss in his last eight starts. Rangers and White Sox, Chicago 6-2 and two in their last eight. Fact bar. Chicago White Sox love Mark Burley. They've outscored their opponents 34-2 to in his last three starts. So, of course, Jose Valentin here off Ryan Dries, a homa, his seventh of the year. And just like that with two honest 3-0 White Sox. The Burley factor continues. Burley doing his own help, though, here. Hank Laylock, please. Flailing.
That's one strikeout. Top third, same score, three nothing. Mark Teixeira, Burley, Advantage Burley. Five strikeouts, still three nothing. Bottom five, it's five nothing. Juan Uribe off Ryan Drees, and this will not be in the Ryan Drees video highlight reel. Sixth homer for Uribe, solo shot at six nothing. Top six, it's seven nothing. And Chad Allen with a scary moment here. He goes down swinging, but the ball and the bat fly into the stands. A little boy hit in the face he would be okay bottom seven still seven nothing and you're looking at the third multi-homer game of Juan Uribe's career the second of the game eight nothing White Sox the boy happy and the White Sox more happy because they win nine nothing Devil Rays hosting the twins and Rocco Baldelli gets a hold of one in the fourth Rocco off the catwalk 125 feet above the field his fourth home run of the year and his first since May 2nd 5-4 Devil Rays. Yeah, it's in there, but sorry, that's a home run. Ground rules, you know, so. so Top is. seven, Jorge Sosa working to Lou Ford. You know, Tampa's bullpen went six scoreless innings. Their bullpen has now allowed just one run in its last 35 and two-third. Devil Rays win 5-4. Games. Bottom third, cards up 2-0. Vogel song to Jim Edmonds. Uh, Nosferatu gives up the free pass. Wayne Van Helsing reference. Well, here. there you go. Right. Albert Pujols has also walked. He gave up five of those. Next batter, two on. Vogel song to Scott Rowland. And Rowland on the first pitch he sees, it's a fat one. Donkey! A three-run homer. His 11th. He has a major league leading 49 RBI. Cardinals up 5-0. Love the way he runs around the bases. Cardinals up 6-3. Cody McKay's hitting under 100, and this only happens when you're hitting under 100. Top play nominee, Abraham Nunez. Nice catch. Cards up 6-3. Izzy ringing up Bobby Hill. His ninth save. Cards get the split. They win it 6-3. Dodgers Brew Crew, rubber game at Miller Park. Ned Yost of the Brewers looking to win their first home series against L.A. since 1998. They're loaded in the first two outs. Keith Ginter to short. Cesar is tourist, can wrap this inning up. Uh, not so much. Two runs score, 2 nothing Milwaukee. Jeff Weaver about to drop to 3-6, and six, not getting much help. Ben Sheets doesn't need much. Top seven gets Robin Ventura. Yes, he went. Next batter, Jason Grabowski. Sheets allowed one run on four hits in seven. No walks. Struck out eight. Brewers win 3-1. They have won six of nine. Whee! <laughs> Padres 4-4 four and four in their 12-game road trip. Getaway day in Colorado. That's Jeremy Burnett's one home run shy. The league leaders with 13, and that's number 14 in the eighth. A solo shot. Breaking an 0-for-15 skid for Burnett's, and the Rockies are up 3-1. Top nine, Khalil Green. Two-run shot off Sean Chacon is second. Chacon's third blown save in 13 chances. The homer ties it at three. A sack fly for the Padres up 4-3. Trevor Hoffman on to close. Gets Kid Pillow to hit into the grounder. Khalil Green full extension. The Padres win 4-3 in 10. Hoffman's 12th save in 13 chances. Rockies 0-5 in extra inning games this season.